how long would it actually take Nvidia to put their newest latest Volta chip into conventional gaming cards? Will it take long? I don't think so. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about the gaming and the mining version between AMD's and Nvidia's war. So there is always something between the two brands of AMD and Nvidia. And as you all are, you are miners, you need to know a little bit on what is going on here because we are all dependent on our GPUs to continue on mining for a couple of years. So Nvidia and AMD are competitors of each other and they always bring out cards, their latest technologies, to compete up with the previous generation of Nvidia compared to AMD for example and whatsoever. So I'm gonna give you an example over here. So AMD has released their AMD Vega 64 and their AMD 56. And they wanted to compete against the GTX 1080 Ti and the GTX 1080. But it turned out that the Vega 64 was only performing the same as a GTX 1080 and the Vega 54 was only performing the same as about the GTX 1070. And now Nvidia is even going to develop a GTX 1070 Ti, but I'm not really sure what it's going to do on the mining performance. It's going to be probably good, but we'll have to see that because it's just a rumor and I'm not really sure if the GTX 1070 Ti is going to be a real card. It may be true because there is something else going on between them. Now that AMD Vega has failed, Nvidia doesn't have to make a competitive card series competing against the Vegas because the Vegas are just the same as their latest technology and they are still not outperforming their cards. So Nvidia already has a Tesla V100. This is their latest chipset with 12 nanometer technology and they have tensor cores. That's also something new. I'm not really sure what it's gonna do on cryptocurrency mining. So I even applied on the Nvidia website themselves to try out a Tesla V100 and try to get some benchmarks on this card. But eventually I'm not sure they're gonna apply to this email because I, I don't think they want cryptocurrency mining on their $18,000 cards. So we have to wait that out. But you can see over here, AMD and Nvidia are having some trouble because Nvidia could just make their Tesla V100 cards into the gaming versions. For example, a V GTX V70, a GTX V80 or 1180, uh, 1180 Ti. I'm not sure how they're gonna call it or 2080 whatsoever. They can call it anything they want. But these cards have a really high price tag because they're gonna have a bigger chip than usual. And these chips just cost money on the size that they are having. So efficiency over pricing, I'm not really sure that this is gonna be a threat for cryptocurrency mining. Of course, we know that the Tesla P100 is doing 69 megasets per second on Ethereum mining algorithm. But of course, this comes at a really high price tag and it's only limited to the 16 gigabytes of HBM2 memory. So there's not gonna be a really big threat on these new cards if they come out and they will be just really costly. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video today and see you guys in the next one.